food is coming aboard the boat. That can mean only one thing. Yeah, we're prepping to sail off on another adventure. <gasps> oh, fantastic news. So this is our basic plan. We come up the Mersey until we get to Brazil Boy and then we turn to port on a heading of about 260, just missing this perch, and go through this gap in the west wall of the Mersey. And then we cross over onto these sands and follow these GPS marks. Now, some of these sands can be five and six metres above chart datum, which is basically the seabed. Um, so you can see here these are five and six meters and up here it's over four meters uh, but there's a gap in the middle where it's only about a meter and a half and that's where we're going to go we're going to go over that uh, we're going to wait for about a seven meter tide and then we're going to go over the top of that so when we come through over the drying sands we will then get onto a transit which points back to a church here and that church will be lined up between two tower blocks and we will stay on that line until we reach deeper water right here and once we reach that deeper water we will then take a turn which will then bring us over this way all the way over to this buoy after which we can then take a turn down to the entrance to Conway And here's that entrance on a larger scale. So we will be coming in through this channel here and as you can see the channel dries out and there's not always water there. Um, so we're coming through as on a rising tide to get into the marina. There is another route down the inside passage here but we're arriving on a neat tide and not a spring and there won't really be enough water for us to avoid some of the obstacles in here because as you can see some of the obstacles are four and six meters above chart datum and the tide will be on only be seven or eight meters above chart datum so we don't have enough to clear those obstacles. One of the things that you will need on a boat is an indelible marker pen because um, I'm going to be putting a lot of this food in the bilge and um, I don't want any of the paper to go down so what I'm going to have to do is take all the paper off and that means I've got to label it with the indelible marker pen uh, to tell me what it is I've actually got in the tin so this is a must have on your boat a, uh, an indelible marker pen. <sighs> On our travels again. I can't wait to get our sails up and just go somewhere. Okay, so once we get to Brazil, which is a green cone, uh, we're going to take a bearing of 282 and um, that will take us um, to a, the end of a, like a, um, it's like a promontory, isn't it really? I'm just about to see some of the transits coming in. It's much, much easier to see that in um, real life than it is um, through a camera.
finally, finally got away from Liverpool. It was like we were being kept being sucked in kept on wanting to get away and it was just like no something else was coming up and even now something else is coming up but I've just said no I'm not doing that it does mean I'm not seeing my daughter but you know <laughs> I just needed to get away get sailing and so now you're in the middle of Liverpool Bay Running past the coast of North Wales? Probably. You know probably about it. Yeah. Nicely diagonal, not too <laughs> stressed. Everything's under, not stressed, the sails aren't stressed. Boat. I'm not stressed. Boat's not stressed. Boat's not stressed. We're just this is this is, this is good sailing though. We're just toodling along at six and a half knots. Yeah, it's more than adequate. Lovely sunny day. Yeah. <sighs> We're heading just behind there. That's the Great Orm. is just so low. It's pretty spectacular. It is pretty spectacular. The sun's so high behind you. Is that why it's so low? Yes. Conwy's a town in the middle of the North Wales coast and was built 700 years ago by Edward I. The castle is still largely intact and is a vast draw for tourists who spend a lot of time walking the walls. in Great Britain. It is a tiny little place and must be the original tiny house project. You can see here how much more the tide has gone out and raised some more sand up and you can also see in the middle of the picture a yacht which is clearly not parked in the right place because it's well over. Yesterday's nice weather seems to have gone, so it's time to go to the pub. Yeah. 